You seem thirsty. thirsty. Yeah, I could really use some water. What happened to that water bottle from last week? Oh, you know, I I threw it up into the air, but I don't think it ever came down. (gasps) Oh! Oh! Oh, my nose! (laughs) Oh, no! Whoa! Hey, the kids are here. Oh, oh! This is Jake. Hi, Paradox Kids. How are you doing? And I'm Reesh. <laughs> I'm Jake. Oh, is it you okay? Good? Yeah, yeah. It looks like everything's gathered right. Yeah. Oh, s- yeah. speaking of gathering. <gasps> His people! Oh, high pitch there at the end. All right. Yeah. We... Do one more time. One more time. Oh, we said we'd only do it once, but we'll do it again. Okay. <gasps> Who <laughs> gathers his people? <gasps> God <laughs> gathers his people! <laughs> that went really well. So, these last few weeks, what have we been covering? Oh, yeah. We So, we've taken a break from learning about Jesus' parables, and we're going through Psalm 34. That's right. Uh, can you tell what the kid, like, what... Tell the kids what a psalm is. A psalm is a song or a poem that we use to praise and worship God. Oh, that's good. Okay. Have you ever written a song or a poem before? I'm... I've dabbled in poetry a time or two. Wow. Maybe one of these days I'll share a few of our haikus. Ooh, Mm -hmm. maybe at the end of the episode? You'll have to wait and see. Stick around. But until then, maybe I'll pray and we can go off to the teaching? Yeah, Yeah. go go for it. Okay, I'll pray. Lord, um, God, I praise you for who you are, that you are God that hears us, that sees us, and that our prayers are heard by you up in your throne room. God, I just ask that you would help Logan as he teaches today's lesson and that you would open the ears and the hearts of our children here at home and on out, online and here at the church, God. Um, so Lord, we love you and we praise you. Amen. Amen. Thanks for praying, Rish. Yeah. On to the lesson. Hey everyone, so good to be back with you guys this week. This week is our last week in Psalm 34. So, to finish things off, can you guys help me with telling me what we've learned from Psalm 34 over the last three weeks? That's right. We can rejoice in God always. We can trust in God in our fears and in our sadness. And God is better. He's better than anything else we might take refuge in or try to find protection in. So, today we're going to put all of those ideas together as we finish up our lesson. So, let's say those one more time. They are... We can rejoice in God always. God is with us in our fears and sadness, and God is better than anything. So to help put all these together, let's look back one more time at what's happening to David before he writes this Psalm, Psalm 34. To do this, we need to learn about David and his best friend, Jonathan. Okay, let's see, where are we? Oh, this looks like David returning from battle. David was the king's best soldier. If the king wanted David to defeat a hundred enemies, he would defeat two hundred instead. And it looks like David is on his way to tell the king how good he did. King Saul, King Saul, you asked me to defeat a hundred enemies. Well, I have defeated even more. God's on my side. Uh, Very well, go celebrate your victory. Thank you, my king. Uh, This is really bad. I was really hoping that he would die in battle. This is not good. Wait, my king, my king. Why why would we want that? David is your best uh, soldier, your most loyal follower. See, that's my problem. People are starting to talk. They really like David. I can't have this happen. He's going to he's going to be king. Ugh, can't have that happen at all. King Saul, don't you think you're a little paranoid? I don't think David would try to take the throne from you. Paranoid? Ugh. I've done this too many times, sending him him into battle. I'm just gonna have to take care of this myself. While the king is plotting to kill David, David has gone off to celebrate his victory. And who exactly is David going to first? Well, that's easy, his best friend, Jonathan, King Saul's son. David and Jonathan were the closest friends. 
It's even said that they loved each other like their own soul. That's a tight friendship. Do any of you have a friend like that? Let's catch up with these guys. Jonathan, hey Jonathan. Hey, what's up, what's up man? Oh, Good to see you. Yeah, great to see you. Good to see you. Dude, how did it go? I mean, I was kind of worried there for a while with my dad sending you in to defeat all those enemies. Yeah. Did you did you get a hundred like he said? No, I didn't defeat a hundred. Oh, dang man, I'm sorry, but I, I mean, let's be honest, that was impossible, even for someone as good as you. Jonathan, I didn't defeat 100 because I defeated 200. 200? Yeah, man! Whoa! Oh, no. That's sweet, so, yeah, man. Anyways. David really had it all. He was a, a successful warrior, he had an amazing best friend, and life was going really well for David. But neither of these men knew that King Saul, Jonathan's father, was plotting something horrible. He was plotting to kill David. David and Jonathan were really good friends. Now, does anyone here have a best friend? Maybe they play sports with them or they hang out a lot? Well, I have a best friend, and one of my best friends gave me these cool glasses and this hammer. Right, Nolan? Yeah! Come on, Nolan. Nolan, will you hold that for me? Yes. So, Nolan, you probably have some best friends too, right? Mm -hmm. Do they give you uh, cool glasses like this? Yes. It's me. It's me. So, Nolan, we're going to be learning about David and his best friend, Jonathan. Um, but from our story, we're seeing that things aren't going very well for David. Or rather that they were going really well until something pretty bad happens. What is it that happens that's really bad? That's right. King Saul tries to kill David, doesn't he? Maybe with a hammer. Who knows? <laughs> but have any of you guys been doing good in life? Everything seems to be going perfect. But then something or someone comes along and messes everything up. It's not a good feeling. In fact, a lot of you may have been sad or angry or even upset in some way. But remember, David is gonna teach us what to do in those moments. So as we continue, pay really close attention to how David responds to his emotions. Jonathan, ah, Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. Whoa. This is bad, this is so bad. David, slow down, what's the matter, man? <laughs> Dad, your dad, he's trying to kill me. To kill you? No, 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 there's no way. Yeah, no, it's true. Your dad, King Saul, has plotted against me and now is trying to find me and kill me. What? But but I talked to him and, and he said that he wasn't trying to kill you or anything like that. And he would tell me if you were trying to do something like this. I mean, after all, I'm, I'm his son. Shh, shh. No, no. Sorry, sorry. It's true, okay, it's true. I mean, I, I'm really trying to hide from him. Okay, well, what should we do? Okay, how's this? We'll put it to the test, okay? Okay. So you know that feast tonight, right? Right. Okay, well, you go to the feast. Okay. I won't go, but you tell him, tell your dad, King Saul, that I went to Bethlehem, because he's gonna ask where yeah, I'm at, Yeah, yeah, okay? if you weren't there, he'd definitely ask. Yeah. So just say I went to Bethlehem. If if he doesn't react, then we know that I'm safe. He's just kinda, you know, oh, okay, uh -huh. that's, right, that's where I'm at. Sure. But, if you tell him that and he gets angry or has angry? a big reaction, okay. we'll know that he has plotted to kill me. Okay? Well, okay, I mean, I trust you. You're my best friend, so okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll go check. Go do I'll that. Go check, I'm yeah. going to hide. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Bring it on over, man. Come on, what's up? Yeah? Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Great feast. Uh, Great yeah, feast. It's, it's been going, but, uh, you know, where's David? Have you seen him? Oh, David, yeah, David. He uh, he came to me recently, and he said that he needed to go home to Bethlehem, so I said, yeah, go ahead, David. Wait, wait, wait. What? What What did you say? He went home to Bethlehem. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you serious? How could you do this? You know that you'll never be king if David is still alive. Where's David? Go get him. Go get him? Why? <laughs> because... I need to kill him. Kill him? But that doesn't make any sense, Dad. But why would you kill him? He hasn't done anything wrong. Oh, what did you say? Ah! David, David, David. Oh, it's you, it's you, it's you. Oh, no, David. I'm so sorry, but you were right. My dad is trying to kill you. you you've got to get out of here, man. you got to run, and, and you can't come back. Okay. you got to go. All right, I think you guys know the rest of this story. You know, David runs away from King Saul. Uh, eventually, he finds himself in a cave, a fugitive. He's lost his family. He's even lost his best friend, Jonathan. Have ever have any, any of you ever felt like David? Like, 
nothing seems to go your way or like you've lost something? I remember that one time I lost my best friend, Mare, and we were just playing and I turned around and she was gone. <laughs> Mare, where are you? Dude, I'm right here. <gasps> ah! Marin! Oh, I'm so glad I found you, Marin. Well, Marin, maybe you can help us out then. Um, what can we do when we feel like King David? Come here, come here, come here. Oh. Tell the camera. When we're feeling like sad or afraid or angry or upset, what can we do? Well, we can turn to God. That's a great point. We can turn to God and we should. Um, why don't we practice that this week? Practice what it would look like to turn to God when we're sad or upset or angry or anything like that. Thanks, Marin. You're welcome. So when we're in that place and we're seeking God, let's remember what King David wrote in a song thousands and thousands of years ago when he was crying out to God. And he said in Psalm 34, starting in verse one, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul, my soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant and their faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard me and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no lack. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. All right, I'll see you guys later. What a great lesson Super from good Logan, lesson. right? Really good. Man, I mean, guys, we can take away from this that God is so good and He is always with us and we get to rejoice because He's always with us. Yeah. And He is the better refuge, He is our better strength. Oh man, that just makes me want to worship and sing a song. Indeed. Okay, I know what song we're gonna sing. Yeah. We are going to sing a song called Doxology, which is a song of adoration because you know what? God is worthy to be praised. Mm. And so if you're able, please stand and worship with us. But before that, you have to share your haiku that we promised them. You're right. Haikus are easy, but sometimes they do not make sense. Refrigerator. Praise God from Blessings flow, praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above you, heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost.
we wrap up from the lesson today, something that I've really taken a hold of is that I have comfort from God, and that's something that He supplies me every single day, Mm -hmm. but not everyone has experienced that before. And so as you go throughout the week, go and talk to your friends, your parents, and tell them about the love of Jesus. And so with that said, I'm gonna wrap up today by reading Matthew 28, 19, and 20. Uh, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Have a great week.